some videos. Yeah, so we're gonna meet him back up. He's gonna drive us in the golf cart all the way to the uh, art museum here in St. Pete. We're staying at a Renaissance hotel. And yeah, we're gonna go eat some bugs. What's going on, dudes? Chase, how are you? Put a thing on. Hop on, you guys got your seatbelt, put your seatbelts on. Now we're in the golf cart, ready to go to the, uh, our, the Museum of Fine Arts. Bugs give, give it. Yeah. Bugs give it, yeah. That's what so it we is. got savvy, we're ready to take our big adventure and meet some scorpions, ants, tarantulas. Hopefully there's tarantulas, I'm pretty sure. I is. saw that video on you. You guys must... Before you watch this video, go check out the video where we ate the hot, what was it? Crickets. The hot crickets. Yeah, there's gonna be crickets there. For oh sure. yeah. These are the crickets. They put them on potato Here, with again. sour cream. Show us again. We got orange banana. He just created his new YouTube account, so go check out his channel, subscribe. So this is the cricket, way different than the one that we had with sriracha, so. But the one with the sour cream and the potato, I don't think it's a good mixture. But the, the crickets from so far are really good. I'm really pumped because we're going to eat some more bugs. Yup. Yes, more The bugs. last bug done. Yeah. What was it? A cricket? Yeah. I didn't really like it. I loved it. I love insects. Like the ones that are hollow. Yes, give me some. The ones that have like all their organs and stuff and yucky stuff in it. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, not me. Let's go eat some bugs. This is a wasp. We got some, I think this is cheese. Well, I'm just gonna try it. I quick. tried it, I don't like it. I didn't try it like a wasp, but I tried that stuff and I did not like it. These look just like a grape. It's a little more bitter though. Hey, Fizzy, what are these? Black ants, shrimp, and a cucumber. Really good. All right. What do you think they are, Fizzy? Ooh, termites. See those little orange things? Those, I think, are the termites. I think this is going to be the best dish. Got some mustard, I think, in there. Guacamole, termites, black beans, and rice. Oh, yeah. This is way better. I need some real food. This is my favorite one. Some mealworms. Oh, oh, meal worms. Super meal worms. Yogurt and apple. I just yes. need an, I just need yogurt and apple. I don't want I don't want the worms. Better than this. These are cricket crochets. They have crunched up crickets in them. What are these? Those are tapioca heads. Have you done it so far? Yeah. High five, buddy. Nice work, proud of you. Real work, mac and cheese. I'm in bug heaven. Mac and cheese and meal worms. Scorpions. Yeah, let me Scorpions. take a picture of the sriracha sauce. Sriracha. So we got some cucumber, a leaf, sriracha, chip, scorpion. It's hot. Oh, really hot, really hot, really hot. Oh, it's it's a 
Scorpion. Look at the whole thing. We eat the whole thing. No, you said no. That's not fair. That's not fair. We're making it fifty now. But Daddy, that's good. Grasshopper and cricket. The cricket is actually yeah, perched in. Yeah. The grasshopper's on top. There's some ants in there. Yep, yeah, they got ants on the. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Museum of Fine Arts here in St. Petersburg, Florida. We have one, I am a museum geek. I have been around museums my whole life. I have taught art history to high school students and this is one of the most marvelous shows I have ever seen and bizarre and unsettling. This is the grasshopper and the ant. It is put together by Professor Jennifer Angus. She is a professor at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, and she is interested in textiles and cloth and in patterns. That's one of the things that inspired her, because she was in Thailand, and she saw this woman wearing an apron. Now in Thailand, women wear patterns that tell you their age, their village, everything about them. And one day she saw one that was covered with these beautiful decorations, and she looked carefully and saw they were beetle wings, and she thought, aha, you can use insects to create art. She also grew up in Canada, eh? And she was all about museums uh, from the 19th century, the Victorian area where they were stuffed, full of stuff just like this. And that's why the houses are Victorian. That's like why the houses look like they should, that Charles Adams or Norman Bates' mother should be living there. Because this is all about the 1800s, the 19th century. When you come down that tunnel, you're, you see all the marmalade on the walls and you grab one just like Alice did when she fell down the rabbit hole in Alice in Wonderland. 5,000 insects here. It took Jennifer Angus and assistance with help from the museum 12 days from nine to six to put them together. And the idea when you come down the hole here, down the rabbit hole, you are surrounded by huge flowers and surrounded by these houses. So you feel really tiny, like an insect, like David Hedison in the last scene of the original, The Fly. Help me, help me. That's for you baby boomers. And so what we have here, we are in a wonderland, we're insects, everything is huge, and we are very tiny. Look at this big insect. I have no idea what this is. These might be leaf bugs. They look exactly like a leaf. So these are just pinned. I do not want to see that ever in my house. This is bug art. Oh, right here is a stink bug, I think. A blue stink bug. All bugs on plants. Those bubbles are just satisfying. This, this looks like a frame. Yes, and these are both the same species, female, male. male. And the reason I have a praying mantis in my pocket is because right up the street you have a museum with the works of Salvador Dali. And Salvador Dali used the praying mantis to show fear of women because of course in captivity, one time out of 70, when they meet the female mate, the female gets the male. Now, it only happens one time out of 70, but it gets your attention, especially if you're a guy. And we talked about and, and the memento mori, a reminder, a memento of death, the snuffed out candles for Salvador Dali, those were ants, because you find ants on things that are dead. And so when you see ants, 
in Salvador Dali's paintings, it's to remind you that life is short and it'll be gone like that. These are all insects, so we're this. in it this like room, we're supposed to feel like an insect where we're just flying around and everything's big. Like this room, this is like the, like if we were I've in a garden. I've always wondered what it feels like to be an insect. Yeah. 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 That's cool. Some mealworms in there. Mealworms are really good. That's an enormous bug. Insect. Yeah, I also don't want that in my house. These ones are like super cool. There's a very small one. Two beetles. That's a beehive. Enormous. This over it, this part of the room is all part of the animal chain, humanity. So if these little insects didn't eat these foods, like the fruit and stuff, and if the, then the fox would, or whatever that thing is, would die. Yeah, and then if the fox died, then these animals over here on the wall would die. And then if we didn't have these animals, then we would die. So it's really important that we have insects.